everyone. Today, we're going to make Emacs into a stronger Python editor by installing Alpi mode. Alpi mode is a grouping of other modes, and it brings in things like autocomplete, um, snippet expansion, um, changing variable names all at once, uh, refactoring of code, and uh, indenting code correctly. Um, and this just makes Python um, so much easier to code with Emacs. Um, and we're going to use pip to install a few packages. Uh, we're going to use the package mode on Emacs to install Alpi, and we're going to make a few changes to our .emacs file. Uh, let's get to it. We're going to go through these five steps to install Alpi on our computer. First, we're going to install pip with port, and now with pip, we're going to install Alpi and Jedi and Rob, which are the backends for autocomplete. And then we're going to install Alpi on Emacs with uh, package, and we're going to edit our .emacs file so that Alpi starts with Emacs, and then we're going to fix two bugs with Alpi, again editing the .emacs file. Using my favorite package installation program, Ports, we need to install pip, um, because pip has all the three packages that we want to install, but port doesn't have them. So I did sudo port install pip, but it didn't work out, so I did a sudo port search pip. Turns out pip is called pi-pip. Um, now I do sudo port install pi-pip, and now we have it installed. sudo pip install alpi will install alpi package. And then we need to also add rope and jedi, which are the backhands for autocomplete in Python. Let's start Emacs. We're going to use package mode to install alpi package. We say command x package dash list packages. And then we get a list of packages. Look at it. I have three packages installed. I want to show this because I want to see show you that alpi installed more packages. Uh, control s alpi will search alpi we hit i and then we hit x um, and then um, as you can see package is downloading all the packages from malpa and it's installing them you can see that there's more than one package that it's it's downloading because alpi is bringing us all these like beautiful packages look at it we have autocomplete find file i don't menu i add it so now let's go to let's open our uh, emacs file uh, from our home directory we need to add this line called alpi-enable so that every time Emacs starts, it also enables the alpi mode. Before we uh, exit this file, we need to add two more lines. Uh, one of them is for a key binding bug in alpi. Um, we need to change the key binding for snippet expansion. Um, unfortunately, there's a bug in alpi. So I'm um, changing it to control C, K. Uh, that's just because I wanted it to be. So you can assign it to anything you want. And this command assigns control CK to yas dash expand. Now um, we're fixing another key binding uh, bug. This time it's in iEdit mode. We write the same command define key, uh, but we're changing the key binding in global map. I'm using control CO. Again, it's my personal preference. And it, and it maps to iEdit mode. Uh, that was it. We um, installed Alpi successfully on our computer. In our next video, I'm going to show you the goodies that Alpi brings us to our computer. Well, enjoy and uh, good luck coding.